It was Tams and Hayes' first television acting gig, playing the role of a corpse in season two of the hit series The Dr Blake Mysteries in 2014. I was just covered by a sheet and just wearing my underwear underneath and in the dialogue he says something along the lines of she was very beautiful. She was pretty. She certainly was. He leaned very, very close to my face and just started whispering in my ear, you are very beautiful, and then other things like that. In the ABC's defence document, Ms Hayes alleges the crew had to do several takes because Mr McLaughlin kept whispering in her ear. There was another incident where he leaned down and went to tickle me, which, again, made them call cut. And I was just playing dead at this particular point, but... I had to hold my breath and keep really still. I just wanted to do my job. On her third and final day on the set, Miss Hayes was leaving the studio when she says Mr McLaughlin followed her into the car park. He came up really close in my face and said, I didn't get to say goodbye to you properly, and then grabbed my face with both his hands and kissed me on the lips, open mouth, with tongue. I was so shocked. I was, I didn't know what to feel. I didn't want it. It didn't feel good. Tamsin Hayes is one of three actresses to allege that Craig McLaughlin sexually harassed them. In the defence document, Anna Sampson alleges that during the filming of Dr Blake in 2014, Mr McLaughlin placed his hand on her buttock. She says she was so surprised she forgot her lines. During the second take, she alleges Mr McLaughlin again placed his hand on her buttock. The court document also contains allegations from two new actors who starred opposite Mr McLaughlin in the Rocky Horror Show. Tegan Wooters, who played Janet, alleges he harassed her for kisses in her dressing room and kissed down her stomach on stage. Tim Madron, who played Brad, alleges Mr McLaughlin bullied him after he refused to participate in an unscripted joke on stage. Mr McLaughlin uh, denies all the allegations and is suing the ABC and Fairfax over reports in 2018 that he harassed three other co-stars. Lorna Knowles, ABC News.